Hey guys, this is Pokemon Bray with another video for you. A lot of people have been asking me how do I make the sidebars on my Pokemon Let's Plays and walkthroughs, and if you're wondering how to make sidebars for any Let's Player walkthrough on YouTube or like screencast or anything, this is kind of a tutorial, my tutorial to it, I guess. Um, all that I really use are some annotations and callouts on Camtasia Studio 8, and it's very simple, it's very easy to use. So let's get right into it. I'll probably leave Camtasia Studio, the link, in the description somewhere, so download that. Anyways, this is my Pokemon Red version walkthrough, and these are kind of the sidebars that I'm using for them. It's kind of like the normal layout that I like to use for any of my walkthroughs, and I mainly do Pokemon walkthroughs, so that's kind of why I like to do them. And I'm going to show you how to make these, so let's get right on into it and make a new project. Uh, yeah, sure, I'll save the change files. And so you're going to come up with stuff like this in Camtasia Studios. And first things first, going to want to import some media. So get your video. Uh, I have a pre-made one right here. It's kind of like a mess up that I did on my first um, Pokemon Red version, I think. So see, I kind of got my desktop in it. It's going to ask you what size you want it. And I like to make it 1280 by 720 because that is the normal YouTube ratio. So get your thing, get your video majig and whatever size it was, get it right in the middle or so, it kind of lines it up for you. And take the corner and make it as big as you can make it on either sides without damaging the ratio. So get it right there, both on top and bottom, and it's all centered and stuff like that. So it's perfect and nice and cute and beautiful. So you can get it nice like that. As you can see, that's the Pokemon Red version intro and stuff like that. Now, this is where the sidebars actually come in, and that's callouts. Now, these aren't necessarily that, like, they're not hard to make, so these might not be for you if you want professional looking ones. I like mine this way, though. They're still pretty professional and all, and they're just easy to make and stuff, so that's why I like using them in my videos. And you can easily access colors through here to make them whatever color you want. Like for my Pokemon Red version, I used red, of course. And you can change the text and stuff like that using the text key. I like to use this, show card gothic. Make it whatever color you want and then type in the text and stuff like that. Usually I put like the team right here. Make this the team aisle and stuff. And you can put other callouts and stuff. Just press add callout. Make it all the same length as your video and just add it in there. I like to make my callouts for the Pokemon teams white though. It makes it a cool kind of look and make it however big you want. The boxes can be whatever you like them to be. I know in my Pokemon black and white version I made the little boxes like this but then in my Pokemon red version the sidebar boxes were kind of like this and then the Pokemon pictures kind of came out of it. And if you're making a Pokemon walkthrough like I am all you gotta do is uh, copy the thing, the callout, and then paste it six times so you get every single one of those pesky Pokemon team members that you can get. How many is that? That's only five. Need one more. And line them up with your video. Get them all nice and cool and stuff. And then just evenly space them out between each other. It's kind of too far. I know that's my bad. I'm not going to really make them that great because I'm just trying to be kind of fast with this. Line them up nice and tight. That's why I like Camtasia 2 is because it lines it up for you perfectly and it makes it nice, nice and professional looking. So that can be your team members and stuff like that. And now of course you're going to want some Pokemon for your team members so let's get some more photos and stuff. And where I get my photos, you want to get PNG photos of like Charmander, and what that means is that basically the photos aren't going to have any background, it's just going to be the picture itself, the renders and stuff like that. And the reason why you want that is so that it looks more professional and stuff like that, it looks pretty cool. So here we have a Charmander, and this is what I did in my Pokemon Red version walkthroughs, I just kind of made it about that size or so and put it all the way across the sidebar and then all you have to do is type in level, oh that's white yeah you're gonna wanna make it black if you have that 
level five or so, and that's you can put the name or the level, of whatever one you want in there. It's just I like putting in level five and stuff like that. And if you want to add typing, what I do is I put in another call out and make it kind of about that big or so. Make it red, and then just type in. Oh, I need to change it to black again. Just type in like fire type or something like that. And you put it in right there. Again, you're going to make this probably more professional and stuff like that. I'm just going pretty fast. And so that's your team and stuff like that. And what I also like to do, and it's not really necessary, is you make some more callouts and you add a kind of next playlist kind of style and a next and previous video so that your viewers can easily accessibly move through your Pokemon videos and it's just kind of easier for the viewers I think and I don't know if you guys like it or not that's just how I like to make my videos and so make the callouts kind of space between each other like that and you can add in um next and previous videos and stuff like that unless you want to make it something different like I added a playlist tab in mine as well do what you want. Be creative, honestly. That's the one thing with sidebars and stuff like that. And oh my gosh, you need to change the black for everything. Just be creative with them and add your own kind of flair to it. This is just how I make it. And to add it all off, you're going to want to make one on the other side and make it nice and sweet and cool. Make it different. What I usually do with my right one is I add some kind of flair to it. I had like Pokemon pictures and like the name of the game, like Pokemon Red version exclamation point. Gotta add the exclamation point. And you get some more videos or get some more PNG files. That's probably better. I'm gonna get a one of Charizard because I like Charizard. Charizard's cool. And you just add them to the thing. Make it make it your own, you know, make it kind of creative and stuff. Not too big so it doesn't get into video and stuff like that, but Add in that, and that's just what I like to do with the right side um, sidebar, just because I think it's pretty cool and stuff like that. You can add whatever you want to them, add your own creations and stuff, and make it as cool as you want it to. We'll add in a Team Rocket guy, I guess. Team Rocket people, even though this is from Heart Gold and Soul Silver. Oh well. Um, make it your own flair. What else do you want? Any other tips? Any other questions you want for me? with Camtasia Studios and stuff like that, just ask me. I know this is kind of fast and stuff, but I just want it to be easy and accessible for you guys, so make it cool, make it creative, anything else you want to know, just add the comments in the description or something like that. And yeah, that's how you make sidebars, guys. Pretty cool, I know. Pokemon Red version. Alright, thanks for watching. We'll see you guys on my Pokemon Let's Plays, so thank you.